can see clearly. So with LASIK, the way we do it today, you can have the gift of near and far vision and rejuvenate your eyes and have a vision you had pretty much like you did when you were 25 years old. Living in Las Vegas starts now. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome from Las Vegas, Nevada, that groovy little podcast that gives you a true first-person look into what it's like to call Sin City your home, the Living in Las Vegas podcast. And now your host, a man who clearly needs some kind of introduction, otherwise you wouldn't know who he was. Mr. Scott Whitney. Yeah! Oh, look at that. Oh, do a paradiddle. Left, right, left, to right. Paradiddle. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Living in Las Vegas podcast here on the Vegas Video Network. Wait a minute. I'm back on my diet. <laughs> oh, boy. I know. Oh, boy. And I got it. Hold on. Stand by. I know. It's not, it's not pretty, <sighs> but... Daddy's got to lose some pounds. Remind me next week to bring in a case of bottled water. <laughs> All right. So uh, your Bud Light Lime, 116 calories. Is that right? The fuck? You could have no. went with a black crown. No! It's that lime juice. I always uh, said fruit man, is bad for you. That sucks. No Anyways, fruit. Uh, hey, I'm your humble host, Fat Ass Scott Whitney. Oh. oh, yeah. And I'm joined by he who remains a pimp. It's Pimp and Wayne, everybody. <laughs> Essential pimp from A to P. Uh, today's over and under 54 minutes. <sighs> Bet the under, people. Bet the under. Okay. We don't know what we're going to do. On today's show, um, hard to say, really. <laughs> got, got an outline, but didn't have time for a tease. All right. Well, cheers to that. Cheers. You have a new, uh, a new sponsor. Mm. It's um, Black Crown Budweiser. Yeah. You know what? This is not so bad. Oh, well. <laughs> mm. It tastes like Esteban. Oh, so then it's pretentious Horrible. and right. kind of a lie. It sells. <laughs> right. It sells. Right. It doesn't People have any real it. substance to it, right. though. Right. It's the bane of my existence, mm. the Esteban of my existence. Okay. Uh, hey, let's say hi to that. We don't have, you know what? Enough lies. Enough lies. Right now, today, we have no live audience. I'm tired of lying to you people. But we do have an amazing live chat. Woo! Today's color are green and purple and orange and red. Yay! Ooh. And remember, if you join the live chat, and we want you to do so at VegasVideoNetwork.com forward slash live, do it. But hey, you must change the color of your name from black to some other color. Otherwise, Jackie will hunt you down and kill you. And she can do that. Why? She works at Google, oh. and she sees everything. Wow. Google sees everything. It's not true. It's true. Okay, let's get into it. Ready? Go. Oh, hey, let's say hi to our, uh, our Cracker Jack staff. Wanna? All right. Who hey, do we got? Nice to meet you. <laughs> Great. Oh, Great to be here. Thanks. And he who remains Jacob. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Look at him. Jacob was very unkind to me today on the radio shopping show. Uh, all these people were calling in about how great S. Actually, there's this one woman, this one crazy batshit woman who keeps calling in. She's called in the last two times we've, we've actually shot the show, just going on and on about how amazing Esteban is. Oh, so oh, my mom did so, get through. Yes. So the torture continues. Oh, he's so nice and generous and talented, and he plays every kind of music style there is. You got a website for that? No. We don't have a website for that, but I've decided I will go and see Esteban. Finally. How many months has it taken for me to wear you down? I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. I'm going to go. I'm not going to pay for it. Oh, well. But I'm going. Because they're, they're free. You can get them for free overrides of house seats or whatever. So I'll go, and I will report back a, a fair and balanced report on Esteban. It could be he got better. My guess is... When Esteban appeared here in October, that Esteban was as talented as a guitar player as the real Esteban. That's my guess. I could be wrong. All right. What if at the end, at the merch table, because you know he comes out and shamelessly 
but you know pushes the merch. Oh jeez. What if at the very end I go up there and I asked him to sign my uh, signature series Jazzathon, I meant to bring those which things. I don't have yet. You know by what? The way. God dang it! I meant to, I was but, on my list today to bring you my my CD. Mm. God dang it! Wouldn't that be great if I say Esteban, could you could you just sign this 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 limited edition Jazzathon copy for me? You were here when we told the story about Scott Pritchard, who said who went to him and said, "Hey, I saw you on the show." Didn't he tell you that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That? huh? I love that. I would have paid cash money to have him go. Uh, you're an idiot. <laughs> I've never been on this Vegas Vagina Network or whatever they call it. I saw him on there. Yeah, I, I did too. I think there's video I evidence. Pritchard. Uh, okay, hey, speaking of Pritchard, oh, God. So, wow. You know, if you're in broadcasting, you have, you know, certain guys that you just look at and go, wow, that guy's great. For instance, sports, baseball, Vin Scully, the, the greatest play-by-play -play guy mm -hmm. in the world. Uh, for news reading, I like Shepard Smith, the funniest news reader. Ooh. He's on Fox. All right. He's hysterical. I don't care for faux news, but I mean, oh, let's not get it. political. Stop it, you freaking commie lover of fake guitar players. Mm -hmm. um, but I have a whole new broadcast deity in my head. Shepard Smith did punch a guy one time over a parking spot. Really? Yeah, while covering like the story. It. He looks a little bit like a turtle. Kind of. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A Mississippi turtle. But nonetheless, less, he, he is strange looking, Jack. He is right. He is a little. Yes, I did say Vegas Vagina Network. That came from uh, our, uh, our thing, roast. All right. Uh, but, okay, okay, so who's my idol now? It has changed. Over the course of the last five days, my idol is no longer, I don't know, Howard Stern or whoever. It's Scott Pritchard. Oh, I thought you were an Anderson Cooper guy. Yes. Well, no. you're on this new white beer kick. I thought no. you too. Maybe no. you learned it. I, I never really liked that guy. Okay. Um, no, it's Scott Pritchard. Scott Pritchard, you say? Scotty P? Hmm? Yes, Scott Pritchard. He is the host of The Odds Couple here on the Vegas Video Network, simulcast on KSHP. He had a bet with Anthony Padilla. Uh, the game was what, Golden State, and who was the other ones? And was it the Spurs? Denver? No, it was Denver Nuggets and Golden State. Yeah, so Denver oh, and Golden State. And, and Pritchard, who's a, you know, a 30-year sports better, professional sports better, mm -hmm. said, I, I guarantee you that Golden State's going to lose. Am I right on this? Yes. Okay. And, uh, and, and Anthony, who hasn't lost a, a bet that he's done or a, a pick he's done in, I don't know, about a year or now. Wow. He basically has said, no way, man. Uh, uh, Golden State's not going to make it. But it's like, I'll bet you anything. And, and, and Anthony, who had just shaved his head for one of his other comedians, uh, his, his mom has, has cancer, and they were shaving their head for that. He basically said to, to Scott Pritchard, okay, if you lose, mm -hmm. if Golden State loses, shave your head. And Pritchard's like, easy. Wow. Sure. And, and by the way, Pritchard didn't even tell Anthony he had to do something if he lost. He just said, I'll yeah. He was that sure. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'll shave my head. Well, guess what? Golden State lost. <laughs> mm. And last uh, Friday uh, was, was the big day. And so, first of all, I want to show you just uh, some pictures. It was funny because Pritchard's like, you know, I've never seen Scott act like a little schoolgirl before, but that day I was a little schoolgirl. Here's one of the pictures I took of him. That's, that was, you know, the very first cut, and the first cut is always the hardest. And, and what the was deepest, great about it was he kept, he just kept talking and kept going. We got one more picture, and then I'll show you a little bit of the actual video. Hmm. It has wow. kind of a bozo Arian look to him for those a little of you who bit, are older. A little bit, but I got to say to Anthony, if this sports thing ever goes on a cold streak, I mean, hmm. wow, he might. Uh, In college, he used to shave his roommate's head, which yeah. is a whole new story. That's... That could be on VBN, too. Here's a video of the actual initial shaving of Scott Pritchard's head. Hold on one second. Here we go. Like this or any time, really. Uh, you can't just, uh, we're not at a barber shop. So if you're at a barber shop, you kind of want to start on the sides. But in this situation, just to guarantee and ensure that it's got to happen, you just, you've got to go straight down the middle. Because once that's gone, you have no choice. And it is game on. So. This is all happening because I made the mistake of... <laughs> Enough with the flash <laughs> photography already. <laughs> this has to do with the fact that I made the mistake of questioning Anthony Padilla and saying, listen, the Denver Nuggets will beat the Golden State Warriors. I didn't even say that was going to happen, but Anthony made the mistake of saying, yeah, yeah, the Warriors, the number six seed, will beat 
a number three seed, which obviously is absurd. So now I get to look like a complete This idiot. is a whole different kind of fun. Slow so down. At least show some pride here. I mean. Are you kidding? The faster I get it off, the better. This is... Wow, there's this a hair salon somewhere in this valley. It's going to be missing some frosted tip business for a while. I, he, he said that before. He goes, "I spent a hundred dollars on a haircut and frosted tips." Yeah, and and we came in and just decimated his head. God, it was so funny. Oh, jeez. He was such a good sport. It was unbelievable. And we were like all the way through, and he's like, "Wait a minute, like, like, Anthony didn't have a guard. You know how they have, have clipper guards, so it's mm. not. He, there was no guard. He just shaved it." <laughs> And like halfway through, and Bruce is like, hey, wait a minute, where's the clipper going? <laughs> like, that was not part of the bed, brother. <laughs> no. We're shaving that dude off. It was awesome. He is, he is my hero. I want to grow up and be like Scott Pritchard. What a stud. To Scott Pritchard. Or more appropriately, to Scott Pritchard's hair. Right. May it rest in frosted in peace. frosted peace. That's funny. I liked your line. He's like, I, uh, I, uh, I laugh like a little schoolgirl, and Pritchard usually dates schoolgirls. <laughs> right. It's a, a cruel twist of fate. Mm. Mm. He'll be the first to tell you that, too. Okay, uh, next up, guess what I did today? What you do today, Scott? Well, after uh, over at KSHP, I decided to go see a surgeon. Really? Yes. You had nothing else on your agenda to do? Nothing else to do. Like, what was your options? That or an Esteban early Esteban showing? Esteban or show? another colonoscopy. Uh, I you know. And you said, well... After you just I, dropped trail and you said, let's go. I got my first taste of propanol, prop, propofol. 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 Right. I'm like, I got to go. I got to go back. Dad, it's wow. got to have the white milk. I got to have Michael's milk. No. So you what do I, look a little paler today. I, do, do I, I look more like his color now. Right. Um, <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's very pale now, so I would guess. Yeah. Um, kind of bony. Oh, that's not right. Come on. May he rest in peace in with pieces. Scott Pritchard's hair. Oh, my God, yes. Uh, so, yeah, went to see a surgeon today. What I have is an umbilical hernia. So wow. not as bad as it sounds, when actually. When you do? You've seen them, like, on, like pregnant women get them. But you know how their, whole, their, their belly button oh. pops out? That's is it. Is that why you wanted the light beer and you're worried about yes. your weight? <laughs> yeah, that's it. He, you're a pregnant that's woman a pregnant, all along. I'm a pregnant woman. Finally, so it I makes have sense. So like I have a partial umbilical hernia. So it's not completely popped out. It's not an Audi. Okay. But it's like, I got like a little bump above it, and uh -huh. it looks kind of weird. And, I, and it's mm. almost swimsuit season. I got to get ready for the swimsuit True. season. Plus, it kind of hurts a little bit. So I, I went and checked this guy out, and uh, he's like, the first thing he said, he was a real nice guy. He goes, you know, you've had that since birth. I'm like, the, the fuck I had? Right. This happened a couple years ago. He goes, no, no, no. This, this, the, the weakness here happened. And then he started to talk about testicles. And how oh testicles boy. fall down. I'm like, so this conversation went south real it was fast, crazy. you could say. It actually really went south. Did you know that testicles are up here when you're, uh, you know, when you're still in uteri? And then literally right before you go, they drop down into your ball sack. Did you know that? I did not know that. But you've heard the term, right? You know, did the balls fall down or did the balls come down or did they, whatever they call it, whatever that word is. Um, Mom, like, you can go ahead and uh, turn off the stream right now. <laughs> Who you said that to? Well, uh... <laughs> Well, I learned this today. So your balls come down right before your... I, I always thought you had balls when you were a kid. I mean, like a baby. I thought they were down here. No, no. They're up in here somewhere. I'll see you at the 52-minute mark. They're over here. And then they come down right when you're born or right around when you're born. I think it must be after you're born because they may not come down. And then, well, anyways, so we're talking. And he's like, okay. Anyway, so this is like you had this weakness for a while. Like, well, I didn't know I had it, but blah, blah, blah. So have you done, so uh, I, the reason why I'm telling you this is a couple of things. First of all, he scared the shit out of me, but I don't think intentionally. So this is like your Achilles heel. My, why? Or I guess it's your Achilles balls. My, why are you talking about my Achilles heel? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Um, uh, so he, a couple of things. So first of all, he, uh, we talked about, you know, the whole, the level of medical professionalism here in Las Vegas has always been suspect, right? The big line here is, what do you do if, you, if you've got an illness? Where's the first place you go? And the joke is, you go to McCarran, and you go somewhere else. You go to, you go to L.A. or you go to Arizona. Cleveland. Or Cleveland. Of all places. Whatever. You, get out, you get the hell out. Um, and yet, there are some pretty good doctors here. And, and I've had, you know, I've been fortunate to bump into do. This guy seemed like one of those guys. Um, he seemed pretty good. And so I always ask, you know, I ask the hard questions. You know, have you had any, any you know, bad outcomes from this? First of all, I asked, have you done this procedure before? And he's like, <laughs> I've done about 500 of them. Said, well, that's 
That's exactly but what I want to hear. That's better than, well, I read about it. Well, I've, heard, I've heard it's really hard. Yeah. I did a paper on it in college. Mm. Then I said, okay, you know, what's your mortality rate, which is how many people have died during this? And uh, he's like, uh, none? <laughs> no, no one's died at this. And I said, oh, is this general anesthesia or, or local? I prefer local because the whole going to sleep thing kind of freaks me out a little bit. Uh, he's like, well, no, it's general. We're, you know, we're going to put you to sleep. Um, and it's actually less risky that way because if you're tense, your blood pressure is high and all that kind of stuff. I said, well, what drug do you use? And I asked the, the colonoscopy guy the same thing. He goes, well, we use you know, propofol. Mm. And they all say the same thing now, the Michael Jackson drug. Oh, <laughs> well, that's good. They all say that now. At least he's known for so something. They, well, they got to say it now because you don't want the guy to go, oh, is that the Michael Jackson drug? So, so it's like, yeah, we use propofol, right. the Michael Jackson drug. I said, Conrad yeah. Conrad Murray will be your anesthesiologist. <laughs> Right, right. I just got to have my sleepy milk. Which right. Is what I think. Yeah, right. Anyway, hmm. 116 calories. That's crazy. Um, so then. Tastes like America. So that's, I'm like, <laughs> right, because it's a little heavy and yep. completely cocky. All right, so I'm like, okay, well, propofol, I've and heard of it. the rest of the world looks down upon it. <laughs> yeah, but we own it all. Mm. Uh, so I'm like, propofol, okay, I get it, propofol. Right. He goes, well, actually. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's like a cocktail. It's real, it's general. The propofol is a general drug. Makes it, you think like you're just having a sleepover with, with, with little kids. With kids, right. Right? right? And it's not illegal. And you're Peter Pan. Touch my special place. No, <laughs> no, Michael, well, no. Well, the doctor's going to, it sounds like. <laughs> He's going to. He's going to touch my belly. Maybe that's why you're getting the propofol. Right. So uh, he goes, okay, so he goes, well, we give you the propofol first. I go, and then what? He goes, then we give you this paralegic drug, and I, I don't think I wrote it down. And he actually gave me the name of it. It starts with a C, a Kruppel or Crashel or Crackle or whatever it is. Crippled? I don't know. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Triple X? A paralegic drug? What do you mean? He goes, well, what we want to do is we want to paralyze you um, so you don't move around. And the drug comes from, you know, the Indians found this, and they put it on the tip of their arrows, and they, you know, they shoot their bad, the bad guys, their enemies, and they would paralyze them. I'm like, hey, good story so far, doc. And he goes, but you go look it up. So he actually wanted me to look it up right there, and I did. And I'm like, well, shit, there it is. He goes, but people, when they're awake, tend to not like to be paralyzed. <laughs> oh, shit. Hmm. That's why we give you the, uh, the, the Michael Jackson drug. So let's recap for a second. He's going to give you the Michael Jackson drug. So that gets you, that he's gets going you to then paralyze you. Yeah. And then he's going to work on your Umbilical cord. nether regions. Yeah, yeah. Well, not, not that nether. Did he have uh, Dirty Diana playing in the waiting oh, room? Oh, wouldn't that have been or great? Or did you walk in and it was beat it? You if know, he was, if he was playing system? Dirty Diana, I'd be like, cut me now, doc. I'm in. Anyway, so that's going to happen. Uh, I think next Thursday. Gosh, Michael Jackson jokes won't get old for another 20 years, will they? Now, God bless his little heart. Yeah. Anyway, so I will report back on the procedure, the umbilical hernia procedure. I After you're unparalyzed, actually, right? After I'm unparalyzed, yeah. If it goes poorly, I'm going to be really angry. Or maybe not. I won't even Can know. Can you imagine next week's show? Or, well, it'd be... It'll be oh, yeah. two weeks. It two won't, week, it won't be, two it'll weeks be a show? week from this Thursday. Yeah, you're complaining about the beer, but I'm, I'm having to <laughs> tip it up for you. Give me some more, please. Right. Right. Yeah. I'm paralyzed. Hi, I'm Wayne. I'm joined by down. Stephen Hawking. Uh, I mean, Scott Whitney here with me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you got, we just put the pencil in I your mouth. I want you all to say goodbye to Wayne. This will be a last show. Uh, you. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Scott's thanking the live chat. Give him a moment. Man, that's, I'm not happy with that line. <laughs> All right. Oh God. Okay, hey, where's that? Oh, that's hell calling. No. That's, we're going oh, to hell. Yeah. Uh, I'll just send them to the voicemail. They, were they, were they, uh, there we go. A high-calorie light beer. 111. We're going, next week, 55, MGB 55. We're going back. I finally got the memo. We're going back. All, All right. right. So, <sighs> i tell you what that whole thing makes me want to do. What's it make you want to do, Scott? It makes me want to have a drink. Ooh. Have a drink on me, baby. That number is bullshit. Really? It's complete. My, actually, my daughter, who's a Harvard law student. For, nobody is, knows what we're talking about for a second. Oh, we were in so I, I said something crude about that use of that music. I know it's a fair use thing. Um, and you had said. I threw out the 10% it, number, so you're it's, fine. That's not true. It's, uh, there's actually four measurements for fair use. And I'm not going to go into it because it's, it's sure. long and litigious. Uh, but it's not the time. 
It's, it's the use of it. There's some time, I couldn't use the whole thing for sure, but you could use more than 10% if it makes sense within the, 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 the umbrella thought of how you're using it. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's interesting. Probably not that interesting for anybody Welcome else. Welcome to Legal me, Talk with has, Lance who, uh, I've, had, I've had people try to sue me for using stuff that they say In I was In two weeks, to join use. us as we learn about malpractice lawsuits right. with my friend Cripple McWhitney over here. Cripple, Mc, Cripple McHopkins Whitney. Right. Uh, hey, have a drink on me. How do you play this game? Here's how. We're going to show you a, a picture or a video of a bar, and if you know what it is, you're going to send an email to have a drink at VegasVideoNetwork.com. Again, have a drink at VegasVideoNetwork.com. Is it a bar? It's a bar. Oh, right, I win. Almost every time. Almost oh, every well. time. Okay, actually, the, the one two times ago was not really a, a formal bar. Uh -oh. It was Meatball Spot. Mm. It was a bar in Meatball Spot. Okay, so let's first a little of all, hint to everyone. In two weeks, it's going to be the bar with that's uh, handicap accessible. <laughs> okay, you know what? You're freaking me out a little bit. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Daddy doesn't want to cry in front of the children. Okay, let's take a, let's remind everybody what last week's uh, have a drink on me place. Well, this was a video, and uh, after you see it, I realized I made it much harder than it needed to be. Here's the video of last week. I, uh, I gave the clues. It was on the, uh, I think I said it was on the east side. I think it was a piano bar. And I, then I, I did this. I went, Flamingo, which was wrong. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, sorry. No piano bar at the Flamingo. Yep, that was wrong. And I'm also, sorry. a lot of people thought that was me taking my shirt off. And it, it was wasn't. not. No. no, sorry to disappoint everyone else. But there. if you watch the video, you would see there was a big glass thing right behind us. That's a good clue. And it was a piano bar. It was actually at Harris. It was the Harris Piano Bar. Only two people guessed it right. Well, that's because you went with the head Because I, I, I head You, you told them was it was at the Flamingo. Like, Flamingo. People thought, there's a piano bar at the Flamingo? So only two people got it right, and those two people are Bob W., Bob W., boink, and Steve I., who is in the live chat right now. All right. You know how it goes. And we'll mix it up. <laughs> All right. All right, Wayne? Uh, actually, do you want me to hold this? You can grab it by mouth to get some experience. Okay, Please. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> you're a mean, mean man. No one likes you, by the way. Oh, well. All Maybe right. Here's the last appearance. Let's see. Oh, that sounds like, like money. All right, who's the winner? Ladies winner and is? gentlemen, in the live chat room, Steve. Steve, I. a big fan of the Vegas Video Network. Hey, Steve, you're a winner, baby! Steve, 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 Steve. Yay! Yay! And it wasn't even fixed. It really was Steve. So, Steve, you get to decide, do you want me to buy you a drink, or would you prefer to have a Vegas Video Network visor embroidered? Oh, they're very nice. They're, I posted a picture I of them on that. Twitter. I have one. You have one. Right. They're very, oh very my nice. Gosh. Steve, you get to decide whether you want a drink on me or... You want the Vegas Video Network visor. Okay, today's drink on me. Here it is. This is a pretty classy place. First, let's... Oh, Steve's going for the drink. All right, nobody wants the fucking visor. <laughs> wow. Everybody wants to hang out with Scotty. God, wow. Wow, what did Christina pick last week? She wanted the visor. She knows me. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's no, there's somebody. We've met. Right. All right, so here's this week's Have a Drink on Me. Let's take a look at the first... Oh, hmm. This is a woman, and she's at a bar... And there is, oh, it's very pretty back behind her, open back. Oh, I wonder what that mm. is. And what she's making is this neck. I'm giving you two graphics, two photos for this week's Have a Drink on Me. Here's the second photo. That is from the actual bar itself. And what she was making was the liquid nitrogen cocktail, the Jose Andres inspired liquid nitrogen cocktail with elderflower aviation. By the way, it was quite yummy. Uh, it, was, it was very cold because they used liquid nitrogen. Maybe, maybe this is the black crown talking, but does that say pitchers 75? Mm-hmm. As in 
dollars, dollars. and not the number they have on tap. Yeah. So that actually, that's a very good hint. Yeah. Very well done, Wayne. Yep. So let's talk a little bit about this, the three hints. Three hint number one. Hey, you need a black Amex card. <laughs> the, first, the first hint, this is, oh, oh, the first hint is this particular bar used to be a completely different bar. Oh, it was, yeah. It was knocked all to hell. It did. Right? I know exactly it what you're talking called, about. It used to be called, you were wanting to say? Well, what, what was it, what's it called? Montana. Yeah, right. Mm. It used to rhyme with Montana. Ooh. That's in Hannah, Montana. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was originally. It's not that anymore, but that's the same location. That's the first. The second is it has an outstanding view of the Bellagio fountains, but not a view everybody sees. Mm. <laughs> is that your best uh, Dr. Evil right there? Well, uh -huh, a little pinky like action. Right? Yeah. It's, it's, uh -huh. it's like looking at the backside of a waterfall. Oh, oh, mm. oh. And the third clue is you have to pay $75 for a picture, <laughs> which seems high. Just a little bit. Okay, so here you go. Could you make it any easier? Yes, I could, but I don't want to. Where do you send the email, Jackie? Again, you send the email to have a drink at VegasVideoNetwork.com. You can have a drink at VegasVideoNetwork.com. We take all the right answers. We put them in the babushka hat. There it is. And then somebody picks out a winner. How exciting is that again? Uh, I forget what my three clues were. <laughs> they were short term memory, short -term memory is, is, what was your name again? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> it was, uh, it used to be called Montana, or the, it used to rhyme with Montana, the place. Mm -hmm. It's not called that anymore. And it's, good it has view. a good view, uh -huh. like the backside of a, of a uh, waterfall. And you got to pay $75 for a picture, which is outrageous. And they make those awesome drinks, which was basically ice cream, alcohol ice cream. It was very, very good. The liquid nitrogen cocktail with elderflower aviation stuff. Wow. All right. So send in your, does Google searches count? Oh, you just do whatever you need to do. Whatever you want to do. Mikey, you just get in there and play. Just play. Yep. All right. Uh, speaking of. And where would they send that to again? Have a drink. I think it's video network .com. Good, good. Now, while hey, we were there. Your phone was just ringing. I think your doctor uh, freed up tonight. He wanted to know if you want to try that propofol and paralegic out. Let me just check. Let's yep. see what this is. Uh, okay. He said he's got the uh, remastered uh, <laughs> album. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, we were at, I think, did we say that? Was that Bellagio? No. Good. But you just did. Nope. Didn't say that. Didn't say that. Now, while we were in that general area looking at the backside of the Bellagio fountain, hmm, I wonder how you might do that. Well, how you might pull off that magic, I Mr. Whitney. Know. Hard to say. We also had a chance to go to a restaurant called Picasso's. Have you heard of it? I've walked by it. Holy crap, a mogo. Much like the, everything else uh, at the Bellagio, Sheesh. I can afford to park in the self park, walk to the fountains, and then go back home. So this is Picasso's. Everything I've, else at the Bellagio, a little bit out of my I'll price tell you rates. what. Let me tell you a little bit about this. Yeah, so, you know. As this, a pimp, you've got to keep your cost it's low. It's a pretty fancy freaking place, I'll tell you what. You take one girl there, all of a sudden, oh my gosh, <laughs> everyone wants to go. Everybody wants to go. Jeez. Can you get this website? Yeah. All right, so go ahead and just wait, hold on. Can I get that up there? And that one girl, by the way, is my wife. <laughs> yeah, here it is. There we go. So this is Picasso over at Bellagio. Our good friend Stuart invited us to join him. Uh, what a nice guy. He's, well, he's the most generous man in the world. Uh, he's a high roller guy, so, you know, he's, he gets a lot of neat stuff, and he's always very nice about inviting. Those are real Picassos, by the way, in that photo. I think the walk in the Bellagio, you almost have to be a high roller. They're real. I mean, like, what the, what the hell is it? So we got these amazing seats out by the fountains of Bellagio. I'm not sure how we got there or not. Uh, really nice seats. The reason why I'm telling you about this is because I experienced something that I'd never experienced before, and it was nutty. First of all, the, the restaurant, I'm not going to go into a great detail, but this is, it, it's flawless, this restaurant. There was no mistakes made. It's an expensive thing. You don't order this, this, and this. They have the, I always, the degustation. You've heard of that before? No. Menu. Or they have a, a prefix for course. So they're basically, they pick out all the meals for you. You know, the, the appetizer and the entree and the whatever and stuff. That's good, because when you have that much money, you'd only bother with picking out your own food. Yeah, right. And, and so the pricing, I mean, I'll give you the general idea. is The pricing for the prefix menu, four courses, $115 per person. 
the Dika station is $125 per person, which isn't four courses. It's not bad. You Actually, could. and the Dika station is five courses. Now, if you want the Wagyu, it's an additional $150. Okay, so, then. If, you, if you're going to do the prefix and have the lobster, it's an additional $50. Wow. Uh, so, but we did $150 at Gordon Ramsay, all in. That's true. With, I mean, all in with tax and with tip mm -hmm. and everything, which is $150 a pop. So, in comparing, I ended up having the prefix menu, which was $115. I'm like, well, 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 did they have any hand movement knee on there, though? No, they didn't have the. This is Gordon Ramsay with a seizure <laughs> up there. Okay. No, I, didn't, right. I, missed, I didn't have that. Uh, well, but some minus points for atmosphere. But I will tell you that I experienced something that I never experienced before. It was nuts. So someone we, made you pick up the check? No, I, I do that all the time. I do I, that a lot, actually. I do that way more than I should. Except, for, except for with uh, with Stewart, he won't let me. First of all, he's, he's, a, he's a high roller guy, and that's why a lot of these things happen for us, for him, and he invites us to go along. You should take Stuart to Red Rock sometime. I sh why? We could appreciate the business. <laughs> right, right, right. Yes, it's all comped. It is for him. So, so, he, so he gets there, and he's got this huge uh, amount of money he's got to spend that night because he's got all these comps or whatever. And so he opens up the wine list. He goes, do you want it's to a pick something? a terrible problem to have. Yeah, I, I, I said, I, you know, I don't. Whatever you want to get. So he opens up this wine list. It was so funny. And he goes to this, this kind of wine. I'll show you. Here's a picture of the wine that we got. Uh, which one? The, there should only be. The one we showed before? We, we haven't showed this, yeah. So that's a 1961 bottle of ho ho, ho, ho something or other. Wow. That's, that bottle of wine was bottled the same year I was born. Whew. Wow. So that's a 52 year old bottle of wine. Ladies right? and gentlemen. Holy crap. And you can see all the sediment there. Uh, that bottle was empty. That was a dead soldier right there. Uh, but you can see all the sediment there, right? So what was so funny about this was, so he's going through this, I mean, the, the wine menu was like this. It's this huge wine menu. And they're all very, you know, proper and very... You're at the Boagio for Pete's sake. So he opens up the wine menu, That's and he terrible. goes to this one section that he's familiar with, and there's this bottle of wine, a 1961, whatever the hell it was, and it's a $1,900 bottle of wine. Well, that makes the $75 pitcher seem like it's on sale now. $1,900. I'm like, ew, really? Sure. Wow. It doesn't seem like you want to. Does that come with goes, a time ah, massage at the end or anything? I got to do I got I to burn this. But I'm like, all right. So here's what was crazy about this. So he opens this up. Now, you know, you're, we're in Bellagio. We're at Picasso. These guys, I'm assuming, are used to people spending thousands of dollars for all this stuff. It was so funny. So Stewart opens up the menu and he, he picks out this 1961 bottle of Wooty Wooty for, for $1,900 or whatever it was. <laughs> the, the sommelier gets really quiet. <laughs> like, ah, uh, so the, 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 the taste of this is kind of a smooth taste. Right, because this guy, right, clearly knows. Well, and, and, and Stewart's like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. He's like, uh, just to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> this night, he didn't say nineteen hundred dollars. Was this this holy hell? You're buying this wine? It's kind of like this. This Stuart's like, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll have that, and we're gonna get a white one as well. <laughs> and, and then the guy reaches it one more time, uh, and he's so quiet you can barely hear. I'm like, just so we're clear. So he was freaked out that, that he was gonna order this wine and not like it. It was nuts. So he brings the wine out, and we all kind of look at it like. You know, it's the Ark. <laughs> I felt like I was, you know, Indiana Jones. I'm like, what, what do you do with that? I mean, what do you do? So they decanter it. it. Oh, they, right. they decanter all the wine, the red and the white and all that stuff. And they pour it. And so, you know, we were at um, Joel Rubichon with him, you know, a month or so ago. And they failed on the wine. Now, it wasn't this kind of wine, but mm. both wines were crap. And I, I'm like, I'm not going to say anything. You know, I'm just happy to be here. Right. And, and Stuart's like, I don't like this first wine. Give me another one. <laughs> we did. The second one was a little bit better, but it was still kind of crap. I'm like, really? This is the best you guys could do? So I, get, I see this $1,900. I'm like, oh, you know, I don't care what it is. It's the best wine right. ever. Mm. I'm, I'm going to lie my ass off. I don't care what it is. Yeah. And I'm, you know, I'm an idiot. I don't know good wine from bad wine. I like to think I know. I don't really know. You, you didn't give him the old like you gave me earlier. Oh, how many calories are in <laughs> no, that? No, I, I wasn't doing the calorie counting on that. I'm oh. just like, what the hell? So they, they, they you know, gave everybody a, a taste. And I will tell you, it was 
the most amazing wine I've ever tasted. I was so happy. I, uh, I, it was, you know what? Wine gets complex. Wow. I thought I knew complex. Nope. No, this wine had a, a thousand different things going on. I'm trying to describe it like the douche I am. Oh, it has an opening note that's like, I'm like hey, no, oh, just drink the fuck. <laughs> Dumbass. Opening the right. You don't know. Mm. You don't know. All I know was it was stunning. It was stunning. The whole event was stunning. The, the place was stunning. The people were stunning. The seat was probably, the water was stunning. Hmm, hint, what do you uh, have a drink on me? It was just, it was great. So uh, a huge monster is thanks to Stuart. You know, good Lord. The guy's the greatest ever. Yeah. Um, and yeah. uh, if, you, if you ever want a good uh, 1961 bottle of wine, let me know. I can give you a recommendation. Okay, speaking of which, I'm going to have a $3, no, three, 30 cents? 25. I'm going to take a break now. It's a dollar. It's a buck. We're going to come right back. Vegas Video Network, living in Las Vegas. We're going to come back with, oh, gambling. Mm, Stay tuned. I like. This is David Ivey for Pub Crawl. It's funny because this is David from... You should, you should, no, you should just leave it on. Hi, I'm David Ivey from Pub Crawl, and you're watching the Vegas Video Network. And scene. I don't, don't worry about me. Right. We're just doing some research. Mm -hmm. Stand by. So 145 versus one, ah, that's, that's crazy. Okay. Mm. Hey, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but there are three states in the whole country where you can do online gambling. Ooh. So they say. One of them would be Delaware. One of them would be New Jersey, but neither one of them are really doing it, are they? Neither of them are no, doing it. No, there's only one state that's actually getting done, and that's, you know what? It's California. No, I'm just kidding. It's Nevada. Ba, ba, ba! Nevada, everybody. They launched it, what was it, last week? Tuesday, Tuesday the 30th. Tuesday, the 30th, and it's called UltimatePoker.com. Mm -hmm. How about that? And this, there's some pretty interesting numbers that came out to me. Now, I read this off of an article from the RJ, so there's a good chance that most of these numbers are wrong. Oh. But, I mean, <laughs> right. my guess was, if you like Outback, no, I'm kidding. All right. mm, so, in and out burger. <laughs> right. So here's Bill's what happened. Meal. So it was launched with, in conjunction with Stations Casinos. Yep. Uh, Stations is a majority owner of UltimatePoker.com. Mm -hmm. Thousands of players at launch have signed up. Um, That's by it, Nevada uh, rule. It has, we have to be a majority owner. They have to oh, is that right? Owner. Yeah. Uh, you, there has to be a brick and mortar casino to get a license. Oh, is that right? Yep. Because it's also owned by, uh, you know, Tom Brettling, the guy who was in that, that reality show, Golden Nugget. I forget what it was Didn't called. Didn't see it. Of all the Vegas reality shows, I missed brutal. that one. It was brutal to watch. Just brutal. They ended up making about $500 million or whatever it was. But oh, poor yeah, Tom. It didn't work out very good for him. How, he, how, much, how many 1961 balls of wine is that? <laughs> Three. <laughs> uh, he's the chairman of this, of this company. Uh, who owns Ultimate Poker. So it's in, it's in conjunction with Stations Casino. And uh, so it's a Stations property, basically, in essence. You guys, I mean, you guys, because you guys are the, the brick and mortar, in other words. You said you have to have a brick and mortar. Ne uh, Nevada mandates that to get an online gaming license, there has to be majority ownership by a brick and mortar casino. Mm. The reason is if things go wrong, just like they send out with the day clubs and the, you know, the, the pool parties, they get out of hand. Nevada wants to be able to say, you know, be able to... to Yank the casino license, right. if need be. Right, right. <laughs> so, bad, bad boy, Johnny. Right. Johnny Caesar's Palace. Right, or right. Johnny Rio with your sapphire pool. Oh, yeah, the sapphire pool. Never been there. Uh, so, people have signed up from all 50 states in 20 different com uh, countries. And as of last Thursday, they've already dealt 100,000 hands of poker. And so, the first question is, where do you have to be? To play this, you're in Las Vegas, you're in Nevada, but people are in, in all these countries, can they play? Nope. 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 So you have to be in, physically in Nevada. And why would you want to be anywhere else? Oh, good point. I stand corrected. So what these guys are doing, it sounds like, is they're, so I guess you can, first of all, you download software. It's not mm -hmm. web-based. Mm -hmm. You download the software. Right. Right. You, you install it, and then you sign up, and you have to deposit some amount of money, right? A minimum $10. Oh, oh really? That's all? Yeah. Jeez. Really? Yeah. Wow. So, Ten bucks gets you started. So you can deposit the $10 mm -hmm. in any of these states, in any country. Sure. But you can't play 
unless you're physically, physically in, in Nevada. Nevada. And again, it all goes back to Nevada Gaming Commission. They're the first ones. I mean, this is the first since 2008 when uh, the Department of Justice, federally on a federal level, shut off all the poker sites. Right. This is the first foray into legal online gaming. Right. So Nevada is on pins and needles, and they're making sure they have all the I's dotted, the T's crossed, right. um, that they have this buttoned up. You must be in Nevada to play. Uh, you don't have to be a Nevada resident. You could be a tourist. You could be sitting in your hotel room at the Bellagio. It'd be interesting to know how many are tourists and how many are actual residents. Wouldn't that be interesting? It would. Yeah, I don't know if there's stats on that, but you have to be in Nevada, and to verify that, they, Nevada Gaming Control Board mandates what's called MFA, multi-factor authentication. What's right. that mean? That means that at least, there has to be at least two forms, two independent forms to verify you're sitting in this overstay. Well, how do you do that? Uh, one is, you know, so, uh, internet connoisseur like yourself, IP address. It's a website, you log in, your internet service provider, you have an IP address, and it can, that determines or can help locate where you are. The second one, though, and this is where the, the problem with the IP is you can spoof an IP address. Absolutely. Or you could VPN, you could right. remote in. Right. I could be sitting in. Uh, I could buy a server uh, that's sitting at some place over here and just VPN Absolutely. there or in remote Detroit, in. Detroit, Michigan. Right. Or uh, Windsor, Canada. Right, right. Sure. Right. Okay. So they check that, but then the second thing, and this is where Ultimate Poker is really getting tripped up and some of the players that want to play, is cell phone triangulation. What's that mean? You have an iPhone, you have a smartphone, you ever hit the button and it shows you where you're at? You know, oh, I'm on the corner of Trop and blah, 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 you know, Trop and this trip. So what it actually does is they uh, send a request to your phone. Your phone transmits, hey, this is where I'm at. And they're able to pinpoint within a half mile of accuracy of where you're at. So they send you a text? They send, no, they just send, it's, like a, it's a background function, it's a background ping. Okay. Yep. They send data packets out, your phone sends data packets back, and it says, hey, this phone is located here. And what they do is they have to hit at least between two to three cell phone towers. Mm. So your phone is sending out signals, the towers are sending back signals. Right. They send the request of where you're at, at least two towers respond, and from the strength of the signal and where you respond from, those two towers triangulate your location. Right. So you've got two towers and you've got you being the third person. So think of it like a triangle. Yep, yep. Those two towers back to you between right. the two towers. Right. The problem is, here's the biggest problem they're having. One of the largest service providers ever, Verizon Wireless, right. is refusing to play ball with them. At all? Refusing. Nothing Wants I can do about it. Nothing to do with them. Why is that? Uh, you'd have to ask Verizon. But what's happening is, when you log into the software, and various times throughout you playing on the software, they send the request out. Their software sends a request that says, locate Scott Whitney's Oh, so phone. they're not doing it just once. They do it while you're playing as yep. well? Uh, exactly. Oh, okay. uh -huh. So you're playing in a hand, and you're saying, you're a big roll, high roller drinking 1961 bottles of wine. <laughs> so you say, I raised $5. Right. So their software is going to say, let's find out where Scott Whitney's at. Right. So they send the signal out. Your phone comes back, and here's the problem. They have to triangulate, right? You and two towers to right. make the triangle. Right. If one of those towers is a Verizon tower, it gets no response back. And you were telling me before, so if it's a Verizon, if you have a Verizon account, that makes sense. Right. But you were saying that other uh, carriers also use Verizon Absolutely. Towers. If you have a high-speed network, like a LTE speed or something 4G, uh, a lot of those networks piggyback off each other and have code share agreements where they'll, you know, if you have an AT&T iPhone 5 with your 4G service, sometimes it might connect to a Verizon tower to get you that 4G speed. Oh, okay. In that case, sorry, you're out of luck. So what do people do if, let's, let's say I have a, sadly, an iPhone 5 on AT&T, but I want to play. Mm -hmm. What do I do? You've got two options. First, you can try to find somewhere where you can go where you're not hitting a Verizon tower. What if I'm a Verizon customer then? You're, but in that case, or if you're a Verizon customer, uh, I've read online on forums and blogs, there's a run at Target and Walmart. People are buying $15 T-Mobile phones. T-Mobile is having no problems. They're their own network. Right. People are buying $15 uh, flip phones from the, the, you know, the early the late 90s. You buy the flip phone, they're buying the prepaid card, a $15 right. prepaid card, right. and they're just activating it that way. And that prepaid, they're calling it a burner phone, 
is what the term is. So that, that prepaid burner phone will then locate them on some T-Mobile towers. They're because right. the phone's not a smartphone, it's a dumb phone. Right. So it can only hit T-Mobile towers. So it's getting two T-Mobile towers. One might be over here and one might be in South Reno by where you live. Yeah. But at least it's getting those two and it's triangulating back to you. Really? Yep. That's interesting. It'd be interesting if anybody who's watching the show here has, has done this online thing, this online, uh, uh, the, the ultimate poker thing. Uh, have you seen the game actually play? I have not personally. So it's, it's, it's Texas Hold'em? It's Texas Hold'em right now. Uh, cash games, a couple of tournaments. They're going slow. They're going baby steps. Yeah. Um, what they're in right now is called a field trial. The Gaming Control Board mandates for 30 days. Uh, they have, they're in a field trial period. So it's real money. Uh, people are winning money. People are losing money. The software is out there for whoever wants to download it. It can handle as many people as will download it. But within 30 days, every week, Nevada Gaming Control Board wants a detailed report back. How many customers signed up? How many customers you know, are using it? How many downloads have you had? How, uh, what technical problems have you had? What have you observed? Anything out of the ordinary. Right. They look at all the statistics, the financials, the technology ends. At the end of the 30 days, the Gaming Control Board will then... Uh, they have three options. Number one, they shut you down. And they say, this isn't working. Right. Peace out. <laughs> Bye. Uh, number two is we Go need see to... Esteban. Right. Exactly. Have fun with a little uh, mal malingue and trumpet. Oh, man. Uh, option number two, let's extend this trial another 30 days. We need some more data. Right. Uh, option number three is you're, you're approved. And is that and it? It's, once you're approved, you Once you're back? approved, that's, that's it. Now, this is a station thing. If I win, can I then go to a station's casino and, or don't, you may not even know this, and can I get my winnings through there, or you is can. it only online? Uh, there's several ways to deposit. Uh, you can deposit with a credit card, uh, an electronic check, a wire transfer, or you can mail them a check, or you can go to a station's, any station's casino, all 15 of them. Right. Um, you can deposit cash. And instantly your funds are available. Mm. If you want to withdraw, you have two options. Number one, they'll send you a check. Through the, from the website. Uh, from the website through to your mail, right. wherever you're registered at. Right. Uh, the second option is you say, hey, you know what? I want cash. I want cold, hard cash. You submit that request. Within 72 hours, mu usually much less than that, but within 72 hours, you go to a station's casino's cage, and you're, you're touching your cash. Oh, is that right? They'll pay you right out right there. Boom. Hundreds, twenties, fives, ones, whatever you want. Well, this is going to be fascinating. You know, uh, Senator Reid, who is our senator, <laughs> I guess that's what he's called himself, hard to say, uh, basically said that the federal concept of doing this is dead. And it's dead because states are doing it on their own. Isn't that interesting? So anyways, ultimatepoker.com. If you've played, let us know. I'd like to know how that, that goes and what you paid and, all that, and how much it costs. And did you win? And if you did win, did you want to buy me a 1961 bottle of wine? Now, here's something that I've never done before on this show, ever. I don't know what's coming up next. Isn't that fun? Not really. We're going to do a favorite five. This is Wayne's favorite five... Well... Things. Are we going right now or are we going to Go. Break? We're going. Let's go. Okay. Brand. What's the one thing you always say to me, Scott? You always say, Wayne, you're young. We should cuddle more. What do you know? <laughs> well, that's when we're at the stratosphere. Oh. Right. Typically, though, you always say to me, Wayne, you're young. What do you know? I have an opinion. Ah, what, he, what does he know? I don't right? think I do that. You uh, wrote a script like that, and that script was never shot because it was a lie. A complete lie. No, all the time. Oh, shut so, up. So uh, <laughs> you always, you feel you're, you're wiser, you know. Oh, I don't know. You're like the, the, the wise old owl, if you will. So what I've done is I've tried to impart you some knowledge that you can use with your wisdom, and uh, more specifically, your uh, age. Go ahead. So, uh, you know what? Is this part we are you, going with the my five favorite uh, fifty plus oh, you could suck senior me. specials. Goodbye. Go ahead. Start with number right. one. How could you let that happen? Here we go. Now, How could you let that the, happen? Here's the great thing. A lot of people think of a senior discount. They think of a fifty-five cent cup of coffee at McDonald's. That is not true here in the entertainment capital of the world. First off, when you sent me that email that you were going to do this. Senior is a very liberal term here in Nevada. And most specifically, uh, it just refers to those amongst us that are 50 plus. Painful. That could be a wide range of people. 
more specifically, though, the two of us, it, it affects Scott the most right now. My five favorite <laughs> that, you know what? 50 plus That's funny. discounts in Las Vegas. I will give you that. That was funny. Let's start with number five. Scott, you got nothing to do. You're, you're like, well, I want to play machines, but that costs money. So what you can do is you can go to the South Point on Thursdays. And at the South Point on Thursdays, <laughs> really funny. you get a free 50 plus senior slot tournament. So you can sit there, you can hit the button like this. So come on, seven, here we go. And uh, you can win up to, I believe, it's $1,000 in that. So that is I would funny. recommend that on your Thursdays. Okay, okay. How about number four? If just for being you, Scott, and by you I mean 50 plus, you can go to any Boyd properties. We're talking downtown, uh, the Orleans. Uh, heck, if you're in my neck of the woods visiting, the Joker's wild. And at Boyd Properties, if you're 50 plus years of age, you get a free wheel spin. And on that wheel spin, you can win anywhere from uh, discounts at the restaurants, all the way up to cash, just for being part of the 50 plus club. Okay. Number three on Wednesdays, it's in the middle of the week, it's hump day. What are you going to do with yourself? You, Scott, for being 50 plus. Uh, years of age, and we won't say specifically. We're just going to call it 50 plus. I was born in 1961. We've, we've already established that. Uh, Wednesdays at any station casino's property that features a bingo room, you get a free game of bingo. <laughs> so you can win up to a thousand dollars. that I'm doomed. They play ten games. Which property is that? Uh, any station casino. Oh, so on Wednesday crap. morning, really they play bingo. ten games at a hundred dollars each. You get free admission just for being you. Nice. By number two, let's say now you're a little hungry. It's, uh, it's a Tuesday. Did you know that just for being 50 plus years of age, you get a $5 buffet at the Silver Tent? Really? $5 lunch Silver or dinner. Ten. It's nice. I've never Go to the there. Bass Pro Shop. Yeah. You know? I love the Bass Pro Shop. Absolutely. Go Oats. watch the Mermaid Show. Mermaids. It's and great. a free. And a $5. $5, $5 buffet. Buffet. At the, uh, what's it called? Not mer. It's uh Treasures or something along those lines. Kind of sounds like a strip club, but not really. <laughs> Instead, it's a $5 buffet that just for awesome. you. And as I emailed you earlier this week, I know you're a fan of film and right. television and video, sure. hence the second V in Vegas Video Network. Right, right, right. right. So <laughs> just, just for being 50 plus, no other qualifications. This isn't, you don't have to be points. You don't have to be a certain tier level. Just for being you, <laughs> just for being born in 1961, Scott, $4 matinee tickets at Green Valley Ranch or Red Rock. Take Stuart there. You can both get your $4 movie probably. <laughs> and again, we'll appreciate the business, Stuart. <laughs> uh, $4 movie tickets on Tuesdays, Green Valley or Red Rock, just for being 50 plus. No gaming required, no additional fees, no hidden costs. You just walk in. You say, hey, how you doing? You want to see my license? 1961. What you got on that? Let me tell you what you got. $4 movie tickets is what you got. And I'm going to get some right now. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that was pretty funny. I'm going to miss you, Wayne. I'm going to miss you a lot. Yeah. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that one day you have an umbilical hernia and it goes south on you. I hope they paralyze you and you don't. I'm going to... Eh, Dr. Hot. Mm -hmm. oh, that's actually pretty funny. Can I, All right, we're going to take one more break. Be, be nice to me or else I'll pull the pencil right out of your mouth. <laughs> you know, you give these people, these youngins, you give them a lot of latitude. You want them to grow, mm -hmm. and, and what happens? They, they treat you poorly. I feel like I've been abused. Just trying to help you out, Scott. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm As elder we call, abuse. Some, we call it, at Stations Casinos, they call it 50 plus Senior Wednesdays. But you know what? I like to refer to it like Boyd does, young at heart. Thank you. It's elder abuse. Agreed with the, uh, the live chat. All right, we're going to take one more break, and then we're going to wrap up. Vegas Video Network, living in Las Vegas. See you in a minute. That was Three, outstanding. Three, two, one. Oh, I need to come up with something funny to oh, say. Geez. Three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> but the co-host. Really, you, I have to say watch it. Well, we're, I'm doing. That's how you do it. You better really? watch it. There okay. you go. I got it. We? We're, we we are the odds couple. Hi, my name is Scott Pritchard. And I am Anthony Padilla. You're watching the Vegas Video Network. You are. You are. We are, too. Who's that guy on the right in that promo that had the hair? <laughs> that was once Scott Pritchard. That was the oh. before. And here's the after. 
before blonde highlights, hundred dollar haircut, frosted tips, frosted tips. Those are expensive. I got those bucks. done once in high school. Hundred bucks. But then I turned eighteen and said, <laughs> "Well, probably should." Hey, uh, quit picking on age. You know what? You're an ageist. Can we see a picture of his after? There it is. That's after. That's. Isn't that's that nice? nice. That's a little. Uh, and you yeah. can see. And you can see Jacob in the background laughing hysterically, evilly. He was doing this with his hands. I'm not sure if you could see it. <laughs> The diabolical. Uh, hit, right. Mm. All right. Hey, before we wrap up, hey, you want to be a part of the show? Then yeah, well, we want you to be. If you know the have a drink thing, you're going to send an email to have a drink at VegasVideoNetwork.com. If you just want to be uh, on the show, let's say you want to, oh, I don't know, send us an email. <laughs> Replace me after on I don't get invited back. The low bar on that one. <laughs> Elder abuse. I can't have it. Can't have it. On air cue at livinginlv.com. Again, on air Q at livinginlv.com. If you want to do your own voicemail, we've got voicemail on the website. I'm not going to show you. It's there, though. Um, and then, well, there you go. Oh, holy crap, we have it. Wow. Who's that? I want to be like Jacob when I grow up. I do. I really do. Um, and if you don't catch us live, you can catch us on Vegas Video Network, iTunes, Roku, what else? YouTube. YouTube. Hell, we're all over the place. We're my, and we know we're doing the KSHP. KSHP. All right, what are we going to do this weekend? What are you doing this weekend, man? Uh, I am going to see Great Gatsby on Friday. The movie? Yeah. With uh, Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio and Tobey Maguire. Huh? Yeah. Hopefully they don't ruin it. Because <laughs> the novel was good. Was it good? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Elder abuse is what happens when Scott plays me on Call of Duty. Oh, that's Christina and Brad. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Isn't that funny? Has she gotten her visor yet? Not yet. She's not going to get it if her husband keeps giving me crap. Yeah, hold off on that, Christina. All right, we just ordered a whole new bunch of visors. So Ooh. they're coming. Ooh, snap. All right, here's what I'm going to do this weekend. I need fifth. another one so I can wear one forwards and then one backwards. Oh, that's cool. So both that's sides. Like, it'd be like crisscross. How's yeah. that guy doing? Oh, he oh, died. He did. Uh, right, so the crisscrossing is not a good idea. Okay. Right. Uh, a little 51's baseball. One of my all time favorite things to do here in the Las Vegas. Uh, 51's baseball. They were once the AAA team for the Dodgers and then for some team in the, Canada. Uh, Toronto Blue Holy Bays. crap, that made sense. Right. And now they're the AAA team for the Mets, I believe. Mm -hmm. Out of New York. Out of New York. Uh, you know, You're geographically. Uh, a little yeah, bit better. Right. Canada. Anyways, it's one of my favorite things to do. $14 for some of the best seats in the house. Buy one, get one if you get the coupon. And if you live in Las Vegas, you probably got this coupon thing. Oh, by the way, oh, hell. And you listen to KSHP. They've got some great deals. Do you, you're doing that, right, Jacob? You did a KSHP deal. What was the deal? Do you remember? Uh, I believe it was $10 or so for the tickets. For two tickets, for a pair. For a pair of tickets. Yeah. And you also got to go see the San, San Gennaro. Gennaro. Right, which is what I'm also going to do. So I'm going to do a little baseball, I hope, and then go see San Geronimo over, uh, which is Gennaro. an Italian, or Gennaro. Right. It's an Italian thing. Geronimo is not so much Italian. Here is, uh, here's that website. Stand by. There it is. There it is. The San Gennaro which is over off the uh, west side of the, uh, of the Las Vegas. There's that Now, website. when you go to the 51s game. Really? Uh, it's across from, uh, it's in the northwest. No, it's, it's, it's by, uh, it's by um, 215 and, no, Flamingo, Flamingo. No, it's yeah. up at yes, Centennial. No, no, no. No? They moved it. Oh. So, see, there you go. I heard so. a radio ad. I thought it said Centennial. Mm -mm. All right. So that's what I hope to do. Are you going to enjoy yourself the ball game, though? Are you going to walk up and ask for the calorie count on the popcorn? Like, boy, I'd like a hot dog. But Everybody do you guys take have, a good look at him. Do you guys have there some nutritional is. information? Hi, how you doing? We should, we should change that. He who used to be, Pimp and Wayne. Mm. All right. That's it, everybody. Thanks for playing along. I'm going to go take a nap now. <laughs> uh, looks like we're at 60. Because I'm old. Yeah. And, uh, and hey, I, think we, I think we hit the over. Wednesday's a big day for you, man. The free bingo tomorrow morning if you get up for it. Goodbye. Goodbye, all of you. This will be my last show. I can't, I can't take this abuse. Elder abuse, people. Elder abuse. We'll see you guys next week. Take care. Take it, 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 take it,